Sully? You know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, Boyle. <clears throat> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamn. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. I brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. Right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, if the gods see us <laughs> making for that cross... But they don't see us. Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? Anyone else? There's ventilation. Electrical. That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. It'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. Except there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. <clears throat> Antipasti? Come on, sir. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Uh -huh. That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room. Kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. What? You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything uh, pinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready? All right, follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. I gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chuck it up to go on vegan. Really? Ah, excuse me. Are you kidding me? Hell no. In the meantime, I've got the new girlfriend. I am so happy right now. On it, Donny Jelly. Is it on there? What? Thank you again, my love. If you need a kiss, you bring it home with us. Remember, it might be wobbly. Come on, 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 come
Can we pick it? No, it's electronic. We'll have to find another way in. You see that? Key card, back left pocket. Yep. I'm on it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You sure you want to do that? There's a lot of eyes out here. I think I can handle a simple lift. All right. Some pointers? No, just warming up, that's all. Okay. What do you say we just run it like the old days, okay? I do the interference, you make the grab. Okay? Yeah. Good. Go. Pleasure to watch professionals at work. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself so out of place here. I can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker, even if you are American. I'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Date?
got you on that. Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Nadine Ross? Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You, uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. Ready? <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, and find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. Yeah, and lure one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. I wonder if they host weddings. Oh, yeah, they're a full-service site. Weddings, bar mitzvahs, black market auctions. But do they have a DJ? I got to see. Crap. You see a waiter in there? Nah, just more heavily armed goons. What the hell is this? This game wasn't on the blueprint. Locked, of course. Okay, plan B. I told you, it's locked. Trust, but verify. And? It's locked. Right. Some fence up there. Nathan, go check this out. There we go. Let there be light. Bad electrical in this joint. Don't suppose you brought a. Yeah, that'll do. Guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. Oof. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks.
That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> Something tells me that's not gonna fly. Hey, uh, should we worry that Victor is chatting up Nadine Ross? I've heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. I can talk his way out of anything. This way. Hey, look, the vents. That's our way out. Yep. Let's find something to climb on. Yeah, I got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding a lighter. Holding a lighter. Okay, up we go. 